treasure boxes. They're little boxes that keep our special little knickknacks that we don't want out and about. We are going to start with a ball of clay, our rolling pin, and then roll a flat slab, and then we can get our template and cut out our shape. Once we've cut out our shape, you can smooth the rim or the edges, and then we're going to pick it up and set it aside, and then take some extra clay or another ball of clay, roll it up, and make another slab. After we've rolled our slab, you're going to want to check the thickness, make sure it's going to support our walls, and then we're going to cut our walls out. They can be as tall as you want. I'm going to have kind of shorter ones because mine's just going to hold little trinkets. And then you are going to slip and score or you're attaching those walls. You can kind of put it up there and test how long it's going to be and then slip and score where it's going to be attached. Once you've attached a wall, you're going to want to roll a coil. And then we are going to add that coil to the seam of the inside so we have something to support the wall. And we're going to blend that coil in so you can barely even tell that we put something in there. I'm putting my hand on the outside so I can support the wall and I can push in that coil. And then I'm going to do the same thing again for the other walls once I put those up. Once that's done, we're going to get a fresh piece of paper, flip over our piece, and then you are going to trace around where your box is. And then you can see that our box is bigger than the original template, so then we are going to cut this out and use it as a template for our lid. Place the template down and use your pokey stick to cut out your clay. Smooth out the edges. We are going to roll a coil that we can use so the lid fits and stays on the piece. You can either add the coil to the inside or you can add it to the outside of the slab. You will want to add the coil by pinching together the coil and where the slab meet. This will create a nice rim for it to sit on top of your treasure box adding some water when needed to kind of smooth out those little rough edges and bumps. And then you'll want to flip it over and smooth out the top. And then you can set it on your box. Now you can create your box into anything you want. It could be an animal, you could create a mystical creature, you could paint it and then carve into that paint creating a beautiful pattern or design, creating coils can be a great way to make that animal or make that plant. Use your imagination and nothing can stop you. I'm so excited to see your project. Please share it on our page so I can see it and everyone else can too.